What's going on, guys? We are doing a franchise review on MLB The Show 21. Now, as you can see, we are the Cincinnati Reds. We are 30 and 30, a perfect 30 and 30, right? Now, I have a lot of wonderful things to say about this game. I like, I love this franchise mode here. I love the whole roster moves things. You have so many players that you deal with in your franchise because you basically have three rosters, really. You have a triple A, double A, and MLB squad that you're dealing with, which there's a lot to do here. I have several created players. I'll start by saying that. My created pitcher here, he almost leads the, leads the league. Let's take a look here. Take a look at league leaders. Lead the league in... in and strikeouts is what I'm talking about. Well, I think he leads the National League. Let's take a look. Even though he just recently... Yeah, he has 103 strikeouts. Now, he's he doesn't lead the, the American League, 108. Shane Bieber leads the real... I think in real, real life he leads the entire MLB in strikeouts, if I'm not mistaken. Shane Bieber is number one in real life, but... In this, it's going to be Chris Sale with 108. But my created pitcher, Wilton McConley, has 103. Okay, there's that. So I'm having a little fun with my created players. I have like, I have three of them. I have three created players on my franchise mode. The other ones are not playing that well. They're kind of playing average. They don't have max, they don't have high attributes like he does. He has really high attributes. Now, with that being said, you know, you do all these moves, you rest your players and all this stuff with this busy schedule. You have a lot to do. I did a horrible job in MLB The Show 20. I was mismanaging stuff because I didn't realize how in-depth this stuff was. Now, with that being said, I will tell you, as much as I like this franchise mode, this franchise mode is definitely... They definitely rig your games. You know, they, they rig them for sure. Like, you see all these losses. Well, I lose a lot of games. I'm 30 and 30, okay? So, obviously, I'm losing a lot of games. All these zeros you see, I can tell when I'm going to lose a game, when they're rigging it, because it'll be like a one or two hitter. They'll allow you to get one or two hits. A lot of times, just one. The last game I just played, this... This, uh, I lost 1 0. It was a one hitter, it was an obvious one. Your power hitters, whenever you get a really good pitch, you'll just foul it or pop fly out basically every time. Pretty much, you'll eventually get one single. That's all you're gonna get. It happens here, you'll get a one or two hitter. That's it. And all those perfect pitches that you normally get good hits on are just they're either gonna be fouls or they're usually just gonna be pop fly out pop flies, you know, because I, I have some pretty good power hitters on our team, but they are definitely rigging these games. I'm 100% certain of that because the games are pretty much identical. You know, you just constantly pop fly out whenever you get a good pitch right down the middle or you just hit a foul, but you get those long counts and then you strike out or you pop fly out or, and it's just so constant, you know. Let's look at the box score. This, as you can see, it was a one hitter. Let me wait a minute. Hold on. How come it's not letting me go to my my team? This is their team, or is it both? Oh no, it shows. That's the box score, right? I don't know why it's not showing us. Let me see. View box score. How do you switch it here? Navigate. For some reason, it's only showing their team. But anyway, I don't know why it's doing that. Right here, it shows our team. Does it only show the home team? Uh, uh, only show the away team or something, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, we had a one-hitter in that one. And we had a one-hitter in this one. 
and I think one of these other sh zero point games that we had, we had like a two hitter somewhere. I think it might have been right here. I can't remember, but but the games you can tell from probably after three or four innings that you're not winning that game. You could tell it's one of those rigged games because the games are pretty much like the you know. And sometimes you pitch really, really well. I, I pitched a one hitter and lost because we just couldn't get on base. I mean, you could tell they're just not letting you on base. You know, you're, we got three power hitters. I'm going to show you who they are, basically. Let's take a look at our statistics, basically. Okay, so as you can see, look at these three power hitters we have. We have Jesse Winker. Hirino Suarez, Mike Mustakis. Those are power hitters. Nicholas Castellanos, in real life, he's a really good hitter, but in this, I'm struggling with his average. In real life, he's like one of the top batting averages in the National League in real life, but on here, he just... I'm not doing very well with him. Ronnie Dane is a creative player. He kind of comes off the bench a little bit. He's, uh, he's kind of average. He's got six homers. You know, he has some okay numbers. Marcel Lopez is the same. He, he's a creative player as well, but he doesn't play often. I was actually using him in the AAA team, but I moved him up because he was playing pretty well. And he bats okay. He does not hit homers. As you can see, his attributes up there. I don't... He doesn't have powerful attributes. I gave him... Decent attributes because I was I wanted to use him specifically for minor league, but we moved him up and he plays okay. No home runs, no RBIs, but he gets an okay amount of hits. You know, he has a decent average, 288, which is actually we have nobody batting 300 anymore. We used to have a few, but they went down. But I'm, I'm I enjoy this franchise. I think they may have to rig it because. To make it realistic, because if you get really, really, really good, let's say I stack my team with, because look, I already have a, three power hitters, as you can see, 16, 15, and 14 homers, right? Let's say I stack them with other creative players that are really high on attributes, which my guys are not, they don't have super high attributes. I, I just didn't want to do that. Okay. You can You can basically stack a team up. And then be really good at the game and have a record like 85 and 3 or something. And that's just not realistic at all. And I think that might be why they rig the games. But I'm certain that they are, you know. You play the games, but you just can't get on base. And you might get a perfect pitch down the middle from one of your power hitters. They're just going to hit it up really, really high. And it's going to be a, like a center or left field pop up every single time. Constantly. The whole game. You know, when is the All Star game? I can't. I don't know. But anyway, we're in June right here, and we are 30 and 30. And also another reason why I feel like it's rigged is because we get to 500. We get like one game over 500, and all of a sudden we start taking losses, even if we're playing against teams that aren't even that good. Like the Brewers are not really that good. I feel like I was able to win that St. Louis series because I was under 500 coming in, and then. I won three games in a row against them and got me to exactly 500 because I was 300. And now all of a sudden I'm at 500. Now all of a sudden I take a loss to Milwaukee. Now I'm probably going to lose that series just because of our record. It seems like they're keeping us at 500, around 500. They don't give us a chance to go too much past it because these are some bad teams. I could probably sweep one of these teams maybe. Maybe we break out of it eventually, but San Diego is a strong team. They're probably going to pound us. But anyway, I think I might break out of the 500, probably go two or three games over once I deal with the Milwaukee Brewers and the Colorado Rockies. But anyway, the franchise mode is very good on here. I, I think it's excellent. There's a lot on It almost has too much on here, but I guess you can never have too much. Um, when you compare this to other sport games like Madden or NBA 2K, I, I, I like this franchise a lot more than the other ones. I don't do any transactions. I just 
I did sign some free agents, but that's it. The free agent I signed, I don't believe he is a. It's this guy here, Diego Hernandez. I don't think that's a real player. I think I tried to look him up. I don't. I don't see any record. I think he's a created player, but not somebody that I created. But just some. I think this game has created players in it, like on the free agent list for whatever reason. But I picked him up, and he's a decent player. He's actually pretty good, actually. We needed a shortstop, so I picked him up. Um, anyway, I do love the franchise mode on here. I enjoy playing the game. I like looking at the statistics and all that stuff. We're trying to get into the... Let's take a look. See, we're second. We were first, but we fell to second in the NL Central. And it's kind of a battle right now for us. But anyway, I love the franchise mode on here. I want to know other people's thoughts, how they feel about it. Do they think it's great? Do they agree with me? Do they, do they feel like this stuff is rigged? I play this on veteran because I'm not super good at this game. I, I'll be honest. I'm just not. I'm okay at it. I'm not great at it. I don't play online or anything like that. Anyway, that's this video. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Do you agree about it being rigged? And do you enjoy this franchise? Do you think it's any good?